What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And I'm Zuff. And today we are back with Bridgerton, Season 1, Episode 5, The Duke and I. Last episode was probably the craziest, if not one of the craziest episodes. Um, we had, like, the ultimate confrontation between Daphne and Simon, which led to very, very intense kissing. Um, they were getting at it. They were all over each other in the garden and it was rudely interrupted by anthony, anthony lord bridgerton oh that is so bad yeah anthony stopped them and was very very mad he said you're gonna marry her and he said no the heck i am not he's not getting married he's standing by his word and anthony said all right bro but we're gonna duel we're going time. to shoot at each other and they doled they did indeed duel. they had one uh and uh, Anthony sort of just misfired. And then they were going to have a second. And well, Daphne, I, he almost shot his yeah, sister. Yeah. Like she rode into the middle of the duel. It all, uh -huh. The Duke was just aiming his gun straight up to just show like, like he wasn't had no intention of hurting Anthony. And yeah, Anthony, he was pointing right at him. And yeah. he, he shot like he was trying to hurt him, I think. And uh, Daphne just randomly showed up and got yeah, in, and in Daphne, the middle of it. She started saying how like. We're gonna get married like yeah. i don't care if you can't have kids she doesn't know the real reason yet hopefully he tells him at some point but I, at this point on it seems like they're getting married they have to for her sake now because um cressida learned or w apparently was telling her and knows what she did so i mean she's gonna have to get this done to, they're gonna have to marry and i'm happy about it but i'm i want them to have kids i really do yeah i think i said it last episode i i think that like the beginning of this episode or like the beginning of the day might start with uh lady whistledown like talking about how the duke and daphne were seen together in in the garden or whatever but i mean maybe not i think that info is gonna leak though it, may, it might not happen that quickly but we'll have to see Speaking of her, Lady Whistledown, Eloise is on her case. She's mm. just going full Sherlock right now, trying to figure out who it is. We Obviously, we thought it was her for like the first few episodes, but the fact that she's this dead set on finding who it is, like it's not her, obviously. So, don't really know who it could be at this point. Could be Penn, maybe? I don't know. Penn. But they said, like, I think she said it, it, should, it might be like a widow or something. There's a few widows. I think the lady that hosted that party last episode is a widow. Had the baby. The Earl was her husband that died. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's going to still be a little bit until we figure out. But, like, if it's someone, like, close and has, like, Daphne's interests, best interests in mind, maybe they wouldn't write about this thing because it's, like, super could, like, screw her over. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure they wrote about, like, how she, she had no, like, dudes visiting her and like that or like she was talking to burbrook or something and then yeah, like yeah, yeah. Her, her stock so speaking of burbrook um we didn't get him the last two episodes which we're happy about we'll update you guys every episode yeah. if we get him but uh we got some like he bryce already said with the featherington family uh we had some with the the mother and the father we figured out the mother figured out actually lady featherington that lord featherington is broke he's been using um all the daughter's money their money every little check and cent they have he's gambled away he's spent and that's why he's declining all these guys for marina and one of their daughters because i mean he's broke he needs them to marry into a richer family so He's a scumbag. We knew he was a scumbag. He was crying. He was then, showing his I, true color. I've he's never a, liked that guy. He's a B-I-T-C-H is what he is. He also, like, isn't letting Marina marry because he, like, promised her dad or something. Yeah, he owes her dad. They'd, like, keep her at their house. So, like, if she married, she'd leave. So he's shutting down uh, Colin Bridgerton, who is definitely showing an interest in her yeah which also is crushing Penn's heart so it's it's a weird situation because i want the best for all of them actually so mm -hmm. all right guys well that is pretty much it before we do get into the episode if you haven't liked all of our bridgerton reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe we are super super close to 100,000 subscribers so please hit that sub button it helps us out a lot we'd really really appreciate that 
check out all the links in our description as well we got the patreon discord all of our social media is down there as well as the address to our po box send us something to be opened up on camera like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time and with all that being said we're gonna get right into the episode bridgerton season one episode five the duke and i let's do it she's getting ready for something dude i think she's trying to pretend like she was asleep it's dawn right oh yeah getting in her nightgown I was sleeping. She's gonna be tired all day, dude. It's alright, we've all pulled all nighters. So yeah. Back. Not a lick of sleep. I'm engaged. Oh. Oh, the prince, awesome. Well, that is one. Yeah, she thinks it's to the prince. You will be a princess. Nope. You're gonna be a duchess. Mama, I'm engaged to the duke. The Duke cost for my hand, and You're I like, ah, oh my yeah, god! Yeah, she's gonna oh. freak out. You do not seem pleased. Whatever is wrong? Well, I can't have any kids. Nothing is wrong. I'll never be a mom. I've not had a moment to take it in, but I'm overjoyed, Mama. Truly, of course you are. <laughs> Just after they had that talk, oh yeah, I was lying. <laughs> never was the truth. Truth. I knew there was something between you. <laughs> Raise your hand if you got the Mountain Dew in your hand. Obtain a special license to marry this week. I do not wish to lie to you. <laughs> okay. But the Duke and I. You do not need to tell me anything. The Duke and I got pretty hot and steamy the other night on the dark path. I am feeling much improved. We have a wedding to plan in three days. Oh, <laughs> three days. You are getting what you always wanted. You are marrying for love. Yes, sort of. It will be the grandest wedding of the year. Oh, no. Tulips are enough to fill the great room and the finest silks. Only the best. For Miss she, she's not marrying your nephew. The uh -oh. diamond of the season has made her oh, yeah. match. Officially betrothed to the Duke of Hastings. He doesn't even know yet. <laughs> Something happened? Yep. There are only two reasons to procure a special license and race to the altar. True love or concealing a scam. Uh-oh, they were looking at that a little weird. You do know that I am setting the standard for your future matches, yes? You should be grateful. The only thing I'm grateful for is that I am not you. There is a lot of Stephanie. tension between the, the two Highness sisters Prince there. Uh-oh. Oh, Prince Friedrich's about to... Plead his case. I had nothing to be sorry for. No, no promises were made. It's just a good guy. I had thought we shared an understanding was our discussions of the future. The fault is mine for misreading your polite attentions is something more. No. Yeah, she was kind of leading you on a little bit. This engagement is of your own free will, is it not? Because if the Duke is forcing your hand. Forcing me? My goodness. If anything, I'm the one forcing him. Oh, oh what? Doesn't make him feel great. Not even, I'm sorry to say, the attentions of a good and kind man. This guy is like the himself. nicest guy in yeah. the show. Yeah, he's been super cool so and chill. I wish your lifetime of contentment was your new husband. It was a pleasure to know you, Miss Bridgerton. You cannot dislike this guy. Uh -uh. Straight class. I must say, I certainly hope the Duke's proposal was at least half as romantic as that. It wasn't. <laughs> It was her begging for his hand in marriage, essentially. Oh no, she can start questioning Prince. He looks upset. I look forward to counting you as part of our family. As do I. <laughs> do you? Did you bring the bar with you? I was gonna say he looks like kind of sloppy right now. This is weird. Is this weird? It's weird. Oh, awkward. Oh. Can't talk at the same time, can now, can we? Well, it isn't the most talked about couple in the ton. Such a perfect in the what? In the ton. The two of you make a fine family, I'm sure of it. Uh, oh, nope, they are not going to make a family because Simon cannot be reproduce. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, not right in front of him. He just shaded her in front of them, bro. This is bad. That's embarrassing, bro. Who is that? May I? She's not here. That's her friend. She does yeah, not the seamstress. Only had time. I know that she doesn't owe me anything, but I'm telling you. You're too late. Sien is gone. What? You mean she's left town? Indeed. 
As it transpires, my lord, she does not need your money. And she might still be in there, Loki. Yeah. Really? I wish she was like holding the door, like still closed, like that. Yeah, maybe. These are beautiful. I applaud you, Miss Thompson. I bring you flowers on each of my visits, and yet you react with admirable surprise every time. A bushel of tomatoes, perhaps. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and... tomatoes. Oh. That is untrue. <laughs> I've heard you can get excellent tomatoes. Greece. Perhaps you could bring. What are we doing here, Penelope? Souvenir when you return from your travels this year. I am uncertain of my travels at the moment. Oh, it's oh, supposed to go to Greece. To travel. It is true. But were I to go, there may be things in London I should miss even more than. And now it'll be. Do you think this is wise? Whatever do you mean? Colin is young. He is from seriously thinking about marriage, and I would hate to think Marina is simply wasting her time. Time she simply does not have, of course. That is all. That is not all. I think she's, you like Colin. She's getting to her mom. Her mom's gonna be like, "Yeah, you're kind of right." Because the whole thing was like. Get with an old dude because he he needs kids. Yeah, but Colin's such a good guy. I feel like he'd be like, "It's fine. I'll raise the kid. Say it's mine." What could I possibly need with five new night dresses? They are not for you, ma chère, but for your amoureux. What else do you think our honeymoon is for? Oh, I don't think she knows what what's gonna go down, right? No, I don't think. She's referencing sexy time, right? I believe so. Sexy time. Who's here? Oh, uh, ooh, ooh! I'm gonna puke. Oh, she's about to drop a hint. <laughs> Madame Delacroix. Fur at this time of year? Well, I suppose it depends on how much time you and the Duke spend outdoors. <laughs> she saw, bro. She saw. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. How? How? Did she have x ray? You dallied with the prince purely to rouse the Duke's jealousy. And then you lured him into those Why does it matter then? Doesn't that mean you might get the prince that you wanted? In a matter of days, I am to be a duchess. And you shall be just as you are now, unmarried and untouched. Oh! <laughs> his friend or her enemy, it is entirely up to you. I like this side. I'd imagine a man like the Duke does not take kindly to being forced into anything. Yeah, uh, oh, I think that people can tell that he's not 100% in it. Isn't it also like public knowledge that the Duke doesn't want to get married? Yeah. What do you want? It is the king, your majesty. Dead. <laughs> I need to be paid to marry Daphne. It's frankly insulting custom in my judgment. You may place the money in trust for her if you like. Her well-being is my responsibility now. And I take that duty with the utmost seriousness. Respect. May I express my gratitude for your granting of this special license? Perhaps, my lord, you should not. You're not getting it? Denied. For some reason, the Archbishop of Canterbury did not think he owed me an explanation. Oh, it was definitely... Yeah. Cressida. No, the Queen. Or the Queen. She just said, I don't play except a thief. True. Appear before her yourselves and make a personal appeal. But she will not respond to begging, and she can sniff out even the faintest whiff of insincerity. So do not lay it on thick. Tell her you are in love. Plain and... I don't know. I don't know how good their acting skills are. I think they are in love. I think they are in love, though. Yeah, I just feel like he hasn't been showing it. He will whenever it counts. I to trust. I have faith in the boy. Bridgerton, I'm so glad you came. Oh, I dare not miss it. Please, come in. Oh, no, Bryce. What do they have in here? Yes, things. I like Benedict's little adventures here. Benedict's Little Adventures. They should make a TV show called that. Would you direct it? I'd watch it. Oh, it's the oh, yeah. Taylor. We met. We do not need to have met. You are a Bridgerton, yes. I see my reputation precedes me. <sighs> not exactly a bunch. Well, anything that gets me your attention is a good thing, I write. Ooh, Ooh smooth hello. talker. Benedict. But I'm receiving far too warm a welcome here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh they're boy. getting it on. Is this just like one big Orch. place where people just have sex? I think oh, it's gosh. one big orge. An orge. 
Oh, yeah, okay. Gotcha. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This dude's having a time. Wow. Surely this... I don't know, like, do they, they keep these secrets behind closed doors or what? Because he's doing this in public. Yeah, I think it's a secret. Benedict was getting to it, bro. That was quick. Oh, Simon's blackout drunk right now. That's just a fight for what he doesn't even want. He's wondering love song about that. Damn, bro, why? It's just... You can live a happy life, bro. I have invited Lord Rutledge to dine with us on Saturday. What? Why? You have until then to must the old be appropriate fuck. and... Because of what Penelope yeah, said about Colin. I know, I know. If I were to marry Mr. Bridgerton, you would be connected to what I gather is a very powerful family indeed. Very true. The Bridgertons uh, are very, very highly regarded, I believe. Give me until Saturday. If I have not secured a proposal from Mr. Bridgerton by then, I shall accept Lord Rutledge with a smile. Ugh. Uh, Maroon is about to start playing offense. I think she's about to get some business done here. You will seduce him. Oh. I will do what I must. Penelope. Lord Feather or Lady Featherington doesn't know, like, that's the reason Penelope's saying this. She just doesn't want Marina to get with Colin. My king. Oh, it's the king. Oh. oh. No need for the formality, Lottie. Sit with me. He's up. He's not sick. Doesn't like him, right? I don't think. Your subjects miss you, my dear. I miss you. I'm right here, Lottie. And how is dear Emily? Can you bring her to me? I feel like he's not right right now. Emily died. Amelia was ill. Several years ago. She came to my room about a fortnight ago. She oh, man, her. yeah. Yeah. She is gone. He, I think he has, like, dementia or something. Uh, have you done something? What have you done? What has this woman done to my child? Majesty. No, what have you done? Uh, uh, what have you done? I see why she doesn't no, no, talk to him too she often. Ah, uh, this would be so hard to deal with. That's terrible, bro. I feel really bad. He was talking like he didn't like realize how long he'd been like away. It was weird how he like remembered the first time they walked in the garden and mm -hmm. what she said about the flowers. Like every man entertains doubt before the day. I rather think but it does not signify. He will be a good husband to you, a good father as well. Ah, oh, why'd you have to say that? Everyone says that. I mean, because it's just expected, right? He cannot have children. I should not pretend to understand the extent of his physical impediment, but I imagine it is a source of great pain for Was she saying that she thinks it's like a physical thing? Yeah. I have an aunt. She lives in Greenwich with her husband. And they've been married for 10 years now. And never blessed with children, but they still are to each other as husband and wife. Yeah, you can still be happy without having children, for sure. Why must everything be so... Bright. It is called day for a reason. <laughs> Charcoal and oil. It's the sun, man. Everything in your gut. Eat. If I am in fact to marry, I would like the both of you to be present. If. Would be honored to attend. Good. They're dope friends. Yeah, they're like good. Will is seeking more investors for a series of matches. You and your future brother-in-law might be interested in investing. The Viscount certainly owes you something after shooting at you. Alice. What? I'm sure his grace understands the basic... She, like, wears the pants in this relationship. Yeah. She speaks, like, what they want, what they're both thinking. I like her. Right, dears, come on. <laughs> Out you go. Oh, look That's at what him. he wants, bro. Yeah. Oh. You know you want this. You just won't let yourself have it. Your Majesty. I assure you, nothing untoward has occurred. It is only that we love each other so very much. Ah, God. it's Cap. It's, you can read right through it. It was love at first sight. It was not, Your Majesty. What are you doing, Simon? Oh, he's, he's, oh we he's, developed it. Miss Bridgerton thought me presumptuous, arrogant, insincere. All fair, really. And I thought her a prim young lady barely out of leading strings. I knew he was going to do something like this. Friend, and so romance was entirely out of the question. But 
Yeah, like I said, he's gonna be really good whenever it matters. Big moments. Simon is clutch. This video is sponsored by Mountain Dew. have been fooling all of Mayfair for quite some time. We have fooled them into thinking we are courting. And really, all along, we simply enjoyed each other's company so much we could not stay away from one another. Facts. That's really what happened. That's the real story. That ass. I had never been a man that much enjoyed flirting, or chatting, or indeed talking. But I do with her. I want them to be more loving. They will. Conversation has always been easy. Her laughter brings me joy. Aww. To meet a beautiful woman is one thing, but to meet your best friend in the most oh. beautiful woman is something. Oh. Took the prince Just throw my heart away, wife. Simon. Oh my I god. I didn't want Miss Bridgerton to only be my friend. I wanted her to be my wife. <sighs> Dude knows how to yeah. how to talk. Wow. I want her to be my wife. I want to be your wife right now. You would be her, his husband. Not to make us wait. <laughs> Did you see the mom in the back? Uh -huh. She was holding Lady Danbury like this. Like, <laughs> hold <laughs> Got me a little teary-eyed for some reason. I don't know why. I shall like to offer you the choice, Miss Bridgerton. Do you wish to marry this man? Yeah, after that? Yeah. Yes. Yes, she does. And we are doing it right now. Why does he look like this? Handsome? No, he just looks like he's not it there. Looks like me like presenting like, like a project at school or something. Here comes Anthony Richardson. What if he starts crying when he sees her? Ah. Uh, Very, uh... Not too many people here. No. I'd be there. Private wedding. The party's gonna be big, I bet. Anthony's fine with it. I love Anthony low-key. This is all moving so quick. Yeah, I'm... I, I thought it was gonna take way longer for them to get married. Just doesn't look good right now, does it? Like, I surely am not the only one who thinks this is bad. They're just getting married for the wrong reason. But it'll become good. It has to. The mother crying. I can't tell if she's, like, happy or not. Or either one of them. But, like, what he just said was amazing. Like, what look at it? her. She's, like... Man and wife. Wow. Official. They're married now. Wow. Doesn't feel right. No, it feels bad. I suppose congratulations are in order. Why are you invited? Being friends after all. Enjoy your triumph, your grace. Mm. She could have spilled the beans. He seems. Penelope. Pleasant. She's not getting with that no, dude. No. You're right. Penelope does love yellow. Yeah. Now where is Colin? She's trying to seduce Colin ASAP. He's anyone but him. What? He, he is my friend, Marina. I have known him forever. And I do not want him to be tricked. Well, should I perhaps entrap a bad man then? Perhaps you would find it acceptable for me to live my life with a man who treats me like a mere beast. No, I only what need... What am I to do, Penelope? Miss Thompson, you'll be delighted to know that Lord Rutledge is no longer available. Good He's engaged. To who? Cressida. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for Penn. Taking notes, Lady Whistledown. Oh, uh, no, they, they haven't even. spoke. Yeah, they haven't spoken since she yelled at her. I'm beginning to feel a little bit faint. Perhaps you know of a more private place where I might catch my breath? Oh, certainly, Miss Thompson, please. It is a little messed up doing that to Colin. Yeah, I get it. This is much more comfortable, thank you. Though it is still quite loud. Close that door and take that jacket off. Oh no. Uh oh, she's making a move. He's scared. I think so. I like him. I can hardly believe I'm saying this, but we cannot go further. I knew it, dude. He is a good man. You are right. I am a lady. I am unmarried. And you... You are a gentleman. 
Playing it cool, so Very she still nice. wants to. Yeah, yep, she still wants to get proposed to. I know we have only known each other a short while, but well, would you want to then marry me? Be delighted to marry you. <laughs> then what are we waiting for? My thoughts exactly. We will marry by the end of the season. Too long. So rather. <laughs> wow, that that works pretty well. Even though it's still longer than expected, like they they can fix that. Got the engagement in the bag. Big marriage episode here. We're all getting married. Don't with the marriage, the Duke and I. I suppose you will enjoy your wedding night at the very least. <laughs> Whoa, what? What was that supposed to mean? Is that a sexual reference? I think so. In secrets do not. Dear child, have you lost your wits? Everyone is she accusing secrets. Lady Danbury Otherwise, of being? Why would Lady Whistledown's paper be so successful? You believe Whistledown is Lady Danbury? I believe it's everyone. Your Majesty. That's <laughs> just a queen. You would like to know what what evidence I have gathered in my investigation of Lady Whistler. <laughs> Are you requiring your queen to ask again? Nope, no, 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 nope. The queen loves oh, Lady Whistler. She obviously is. They're gonna become like friends. Benedict. Benedict. A most enjoyable person. Hello. Indeed. Um, Bridgerton, um... Can we talk about what you saw the other night? Yeah. What the dude I was against the wall with? Nothing happened at all. Quiet. Uh, I believe you know Mr. Bridgerton. Ah. Uh... My wife, Mrs. Lucy Granville. Okay, he is that's, married. That's the guy he was making out with. Or the girl. The other girl? Remember? There was oh, two of them. was it? Was yeah, it? I 100%. Oh, I didn't really look at her. I was also quite apprehensive before. Of my wedding night. Yep. I know you and the Duke, well, whatever took place between the two of you, you may very well know some things already. I know nothing. I. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Some things you ought to know. Well, he, you see, the marital act, which now that you are married, you may. It's so awkward. Yeah. It's just like, let's get on with it, guys. How difficult must it be to perform? It is not, dearest. It is. Most natural. You're gonna have it's sex nice with him. It's sex. He has this thing in his pants. Like uh, I don't know. <laughs> I do not want stuff to explain the birds and the bees to me ever. So this act, it is performed to have children. Yes. <laughs> so you guys probably aren't gonna have it. What if the Duke and I cannot have children? And does that? prevent us from performing this act at all, from even having a wedding night at all. Dear, is this your concern? Daphne, the two of you care for each other deeply. When all is said and done, nothing else matters. Yeah, but you don't know what she knows, Mama. It is time. Let's get in that thing. Are they going to their wedding night? L. I have a present for you. It is upstairs. Made of four walls and a very comfortable bed. You can have my room. I know we could not be any more different. But there is one thing we do share. We are sisters. The certainty that you will make your own way in this world. Ah. Uh, she believes in you, Eloise. Good sisters. They do like to bitch at each other, though. All sisters do that, I feel like. Yeah. And guys. Good, good addition there at the end. Spy fam. Spy fam. Gives a full speech to Eloise. The other <laughs> one just, bye. Bye, guys. Going off to my wedding night. We're unsure if the Duke's going to perform the... The act. The act. The marital act. Where are they going? Probably where the Duke lives. <laughs> They're still fucking awkward as hell. We should reach the end before nightfall. The end. So we will be spending our wedding night at the end. Why does it matter? Dang. Damn, she is disappointed, bro. I mean, who wants to have their wedding night at the end? It's like a motel. Your room of grace is just over here. Oh, they have different rooms. I requested a separate room. <laughs> bro. 
Should I? Yes. Yes. Yeah, just, dude. She doesn't even know what it is, and she's like, it's... "Bro, you are stressing her out, dude." It's your wife. You're pacing right now. Pacing. I just need him to go knock on her door. And just give her a spin and say, I and love take you. take his clothes off. Yeah. Oh. He's going to be there. He's going to be there. We know it. We know it. They're Come in sync, in. bro. They're meant to be. Go down to dinner. Oh. You're unbelievable, bro. I do not want any dinner. I merely want you. Wanting to be alone with you. Wanting to talk to you, wanting to know that you would prefer to stay in your separate room and endure a wordless dinner together on our wedding night. That is not I... what I would prefer. Simon. You are mistaken. It's quite the opposite. You've said all but a few words to me. In order to keep myself from saying the wrong things. Oh, oh come on, Simon. Because I could not bear witness to the misery I have caused you. <sighs> I am the one who trapped you into this marriage. You guys just need to love each other, man. Just give you just smooch. Just give each other some smooch. I've spent the last three days in agony. Unable to talk to you, unable to be alone with you because I knew you wanted nothing to do with You guys are not understanding You're not, each other. Not on the same page whatsoever. I wanted a life with children. A family. No, I want a life with, a life with you. you. You wanted a love match, and yet and yet. That's what she got. Ah, uh, no, you love him. Everything I told the queen was true. I cannot stop thinking of you. From the mornings you ease to the evenings you quiet. Here he goes listen. with his words, bro. He's a poet. My thoughts of you never end. I am yours, Daphne. I have always been yours. <laughs> Dropping bombs on me right now. Sending chills down my spine. I don't either. Very I think he just can't hold himself back. Like he's scared that he will just like. Look at you, you're downright flushed. Yes, that is what happens. When one is angry. When one burns for someone who does not feel the same. You burn for me. Why do you think I followed you into that garden? Why do you think I went into that garden? Yeah, you guys are on the same You love page. each other, you love each other. It is you I cannot sacrifice. Oh. I for you. Oh, does that mean like I'm burning right now? Oh my goodness. Does that mean like your ears tingle? No, they're just in love. I want to have a burn. That is such a good love. Oh. Uh oh, it's it's marriage night. He's gonna accidentally plop a kid into her one day. So <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Show me more, Duke. Simon. It's probably like so weird just like learning about like she probably has no clue what's about to actually happen. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. She has like a vague understanding, but like doesn't actually know. Uh uh. What's going on? I don't even know what's happening. I just all I know is the marital act is about to be performed. Here he goes. I feel like he knows what he's doing. I think so too. I think he, does. <laughs> I think he had some college days. I don't think this is his first time at the rodeo. Uh-oh. We've seen that before. We've seen that before. We haven't seen her see that, though. Look at her. She's enamored. Drooling. Enamored. Did you touch yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Show me. Oh, my God. Dude, he's wild. I cannot. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude, he... Okay. Simon! What's going on? He's helping her. Okay, this might be one of them scenes that... Yeah. Tell me what you thought about. <laughs> this dude is freaking... About it, bro. Literally, she thought about you, Simon. You oh my god. <laughs> This is a very intimate scene between two people that love each other, guys. Yeah, I mean, these are, this is not on camera. <laughs> this is a nice moment, though. 
Was that her reaction to seeing oh, his, his <laughs> dick? Whoa. That's my ultimate. <laughs> Was that implying something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Speed up. Oh <laughs> my god. Ba, ba, ba. Wow. Man's turned into Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just waited too long. Dude. He's like, I can't. Wow, he really went out of his way to not have kids. I didn't think he was going to do that. Okay, see. Whenever people said it'd be weird to watch a show together and there'd be like all these awkward things, I think that's exactly what I imagined. Yep. Just. It was very prolonged, too. It was just super long. Yeah, yeah but think... you need an elephant in the room when that happens. Elaborate. What do you mean by that? <laughs> we Please need... let us know what you mean. We need an elephant. You need someone who can, like, take the the the, the seri seriousness away from the scene. Okay, do you know what an elephant in the room is? Let's clear that one up first. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We Okay, we know what you're saying now. Okay, got that one. Cleared. Uh, elephant in the room. What does that mean? It means like there's a stickler in the room. What does that mean? Here we go, <laughs> these, words. Here we go with these words that we use. It, it's, it makes the other people feel off. So if I look up stickler right now, it's going to say makes other people feel no, off. No, the elephant in the room. Like it's like a, they don't want that person sort of like making the other guys feel awkward. Yeah, right. So no, that's not what we needed. We didn't need that. We, we, got needed some that, we needed that in a way that means that makes them feel happy. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Um, yeah, I mean, regardless of how awkward that was and how little we could have showed on YouTube, that was a very beautiful, intimate moment. Between a husband and a wife yeah. who love each other. Like deeply, like yeah, they love they each other so much. Yeah, they, that was cool. They love I, each other so much they don't love each other. I'm gonna text or I'm gonna tell the next girl I fall in love with that I am burning for her. I don't know if I'm ever gonna find that again, but we'll see. But yeah, the whole like wedding thing was just honestly really weird to me. Like the whole the way it went. Obviously, we like got more context as to why it was so weird, but like. It just didn't feel like a proper wedding, especially like knowing how much they actually do like each other. But I guess they didn't know themselves. I think they yeah. both thought the other one didn't like them. That's I felt like that whole episode was just so awkward and weird and just led up to like what everyone who probably watched this episode wanted in the end. And it was just them like telling each other they actually do love each other and Getting into the real business is what they did, and I mean, it was definitely the outcome everyone wanted of that episode, and everybody else was happy. I'm curious to see them though in like a new area, like a new house in uh, yeah, that's Simon's true. house. I'm like, it's gonna go back to where they are. I mean, she's nowhere near. It, Simon lives far away, doesn't he? Like, does it takes? Yeah, I mean, not in England. I don't think. I don't think he lives in England. Um, he could. I, I don't know. I forget. But yeah, he said it takes, I think, multiple days for them to get back to where he lives. I, I do agree. I think it'll be interesting to see them in a new setting. Maybe this means that we won't see as much of them. I don't know. Um, but I mean, yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss her being in the Bridgerton house with like all mm -hmm. her siblings and stuff. I liked the dynamic they had there. It'll be interesting to see their perspective with like not having Daphne there as well, especially with like Eloise. I feel like she, they were probably the closest, even though they butt heads a lot. They definitely really, really loved each other, had a special sister bond as always. For sure. I feel like it'll be interesting too, because like Colin is engaged, M marrying Marina. Yeah. It's, her plan worked. Yeah, he wants it to take a lot longer than she does, though. Like a normal person yeah. would. Yeah, <laughs> but she wants worked. to rush it because, she, she honestly, she's trying to use him. Yeah, which Tom's is sad. a good guy, too. I honestly... Penelope's going to mess it up, though. Yeah, I, I don't really think, think that, so. that marriage is going to go through. No, nah, Pen Penelope's going to stop this in some way. Yeah, I don't think... Um, I mean, I would like Colin and Penelope to be together, but... We also saw like the Benedict story 
he went over and he also got some action this episode. Yeah, time. Dude, with, wow. Uh, with the guy's wife. Yeah, he <clears throat> was getting action with those two girls, one being his friend's wife. His friend's artist. wife. And he also walked in on his friend with another man. So I um, I think it I think it is taboo. Like I don't think homosexuality is accepted in this time period because he approached Benedict and was like, "Yo, about what you saw." I don't. Benedict's just playing it cool. Like I didn't see anything. Was it that, or was it that he like didn't want any like the what was going in side of those walls was supposed to stay inside of those walls? Like, no, I think he was talking about what he saw specifically in that room because they made eye contact. Like he saw him open yeah. the yeah. door. I don't think. I mean, obviously, Benedict's not going to be like, you will never believe what's going on in there. It's like he was participating in it, too. So, yeah, I'd, that'd kind of be a self-report. I think it's like a little secret society type thing they got True. going on. Like, it seems like the wife and him are completely open and cool with yeah. whatever they want to do. Like, for sure. Very open uh, relationship there. It seems like it's just one big sex party, honestly, like regardless of what you're into. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And like maybe we were tripping i mean when we were saying like a few episodes ago that uh benedict and the, the artist have like attention attention I, I was gonna say at first once he started get, like getting with that the seamstress lady i was like maybe like we just have just three straight straight dudes we just probably have a bad gaydar but like i guess the one dude is and i could honestly or at least like I could see Collins or Benedict still like. Yeah, maybe. I still think it's there. I could see him like maybe experimenting. He looks yeah. shook. He, he looks shook. I, like, I, yeah, I don't think that they would introduce that for no reason. Right. And also, I just feel like he feels like comfortable there, like to ex express himself and be mm -hmm. like true. his his true self, whether that's like sexuality or like his like artistry and stuff. Like, I feel like it's a pretty safe space for that. Yeah. I agree. Anthony's mistress is out of town. She left. She allegedly. Allegedly. And also, I feel like Eloise and the queen are going to have this little... They're on a mission. I think, I think is. she's going to like give them... Give, the queen's going to give Eloise resources or maybe not. That'd know. be really cool. I really like Eloise. Like, yeah. she is She's one on her of my favorite shit. characters for sure. And speaking of the queen, we met the king, and he's obviously very ill. And yeah, that was a really sad scene. Yeah. I feel really bad for the queen now. Um, but she did let, uh, she did eventually let them marry after Simon's big. Dude, Simon, how can you not? Simon's like monologue was beautiful, bro. Mm -hmm. He was speaking straight from the heart. He meant every word that he said. Uh, he thought he she didn't love her this whole time. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. And we I, knew they both loved each other. They belong together. I'm glad that they got to perform the marital act and actually will be together. But we gotta get we gotta get some kids, man. We gotta yeah. turn. We'll see how change, happens. Change Simon's mind and get some some baby baby Bridgerton baby Hastings. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. If you have been liking all of our Bridgerton reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. First one's going to be for our Patreon. We have the full uncut and uncensored version of this episode on there, as well as a bunch of early access for you. So check that out. Second link is for our Discord. Come talk to us about Bridgerton. We're in there all the time. We have a super dope community. So stop by, chat with us. The rest of the links are going to be for all of our social medias. Give us a follow. And at the very bottom, you will see the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on camera like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time with all that being said guys we will see you next time for bridgerton season one episode six peace out